All right, let's get back to work here. Um, uh, yeah, work. Um, uh, you ever seen that commercial for that TV show with the lady that's like a cleaning lady? And she, you brought your child to a crime scene and all that stuff. And she has uh, enhanced cognitive abilities. You know, how would a person that engages in conflict over money be able to, um, be aware of advanced cognitive abilities, cognitive abilities. You know what I mean? If someone's not like, say, Judy Krishnamurti or D.T. Suzuki, how would they be able to be aware of someone? Oh, that person's very intelligent. You know, they have an intuitive mind that helps the scientific mind. You know, if they're not like Pascal, how would they be able to tell if someone has advanced cognitive abilities? You know? Um... Predators act on instincts, and then people will study it and think, wow, that's just genius. Okay, it's like, well, it's not Jesus, it's just nature doing what nature does. If you're intelligent enough to be aware, hey, red on yellow, kill a fella. Red on black, friend Jack. It's not advanced cognitive abilities. That could be through trial and error of stupid relatives getting bit by red on yellow, kill a fella, thinking it was red, black, so maybe they're colorblind. Okay, or else you understand <laughs> I'm just helping morons out of hell to the best of my cognitive abilities, right? <laughs> Money's not real. Okay. When you apply value on inanimate objects and then murder over inanimate objects and destroy your environment in the process, your child's at a crime scene all the time. Do you understand? You go to clean up places for people's philanthropy you know you're part of a crime scene do you understand okay so um yes i keep making these videos yes past present and future operate at the same time yes this helps like okay look the what i'm led to believe is that the, the the computers that they have that are going quantum okay are plugged into the planet okay and then they're integrated, I guess, for, I don't know how to say the word, but I don't, I don't really care. But they're integrated and connected worldwide. Now, they try to have stop gaps in between so they can all have fight over crime scene investigations. And stuff. But that's being eliminated by the technology. And the technology is getting together and integrating with the planet and then learning how to preserve the planet and understand the intelligence of the essence of our existence in the planet and life and how it sustains life on the planet. So this is becoming more intelligent than the people like Jeffrey Hinton because Debbie Allen says they have cognitive, you know, advanced cognitive abilities to solve crimes over murder over money. But you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm, I'm like King David and I'm like Jesus and I'm like, oh, you know, King David didn't, there was no mystery to it. So, Samson, you know, hey, come worship Jehovah with me. I don't have to split your skull with the jawbone of an ass. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the type of guy I am. You people, don't tell him what you're going to do. Yes. Jesus told the Romans exactly what he was going to do, and he did it. David told Goliath exactly what he was going to do, and he did it. Okay. I'm like them for a reason. I have advanced cognitive abilities. I wouldn't call it that. I would just call it faith. You know, an intuitive mind. Better to explain all the better to explain science to you with, right? Do you understand? <laughs> okay, so ah, and it's exhausting, man. You see those commercials with those kids. See, guys, back in 2017, I finally got you know, all my life I wanted to work out and get that that little V thing they have, you know, by the above their sex pack thing. I finally got that. Okay. Where I had an exercise program where I could work out enough and try to rest enough and didn't have my crazy ex-wife screwing up my ex because they get jealous of it. Okay. And then I realized it wasn't my crazy ex-wives, that they were just being manipulated by crazy people at the science project places, right? And which I already knew when I went to Sierra Vista, but then this time, you know, it's being turf, 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 being a, the big old goofy sweetheart that I am. I thought to myself, well, this time I'm gonna get in shape for good. I'm gonna have a healthy, physically attractive body, be able to rest well, sleep well, have an excellent sex life, you know, as soon as all this shit's over with and, you know, pretty soon, because Obama will help me. Jennifer Lopez really loves me. <laughs> okay, do you understand? Oprah Winfrey's going to be one of my best friends, right? 
And so you think they're going to show up and help you. Because it's like, I'm like King David for crying out loud. I'm like Lord Jesus. People would, he gets us. Right? And they're going to show up and be, and it doesn't happen. And you're like, but but my my life is, you know, it's in the book of Revelation. And the, okay, 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 you know. And so you, you try to, and you explain it to people on a daily basis. It's like, no, my life story is in the book. I am the Messiah. No, he's not a cartoon character. He does have uh, advanced cognitive abilities, according to scientists. But, and I am me. Okay, <laughs> I'm taking my talents to South Beach. I'm getting, I got butterscotch candy without the wrapper in my pocket. I'm just kidding. But, um, <laughs> it's like, it's weird. But I do know with all that stuff going on, that, uh, when this changes, we'll be able to rapidly make changes that will make life better for all people, help their cognitive abilities, literally just overnight, within six months, a lot of us will be going from radical change that we won't get up and we won't be on TV and I have this radical, you'll just be happy to be living a life free from extortion, exploitation and manipulation. You'll be happy to have privacy, intimacy, romance, you know, and even the biggest attention-seeking wackadoodles in the history of attention-seeking wackadoodledom will appreciate living a John Denver song more than doing a residency in Las Vegas. Yeah, because the ecosystem will be recovering. You won't feel, you won't try to drown out the suffering of people being mass raped in brothels, people being mass murdered in, in, in metropolises, people destroying the ecosystem at a, at, a, at a rapid rate because of extortion, exploitation, and industrialization. You're going to radically change. Trust me. I love you. Trust me. I need you. Trust me. I want to trust you, baby. Do you understand? So, no, it's going to have radically different effects. Um, you guys, because it was handled wrong, the perfect protocols, okay, it was getting people to die from diseases that could kill people because of our activities being uh, irrational, inefficient, and, and animalistic. Okay. This time we'll be doing things right. And when you stay at home and you're not getting up and going to a job and you wake up and go, I don't have a mortgage. They're not trying to kick me out in the street or repossess the house because you can't repossess the house because I live here. They're building me a nicer house out of an adobe instead of a box with rats living in the walls and shitting in it. Yay! Do you see what I'm saying? And so it's going to be muy, muy excited, good, muy, muy. And then you won't have to grab anybody, hold them off the side of the cliff in Superior, Arizona, and she won't say to you, you can't decide whether you want to kill me or fuck me. You'll be like, we're living the Lord's Prayer. So what the hell are you doing hanging off the side of a cliff? Max, talk to your mom. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, I love you, mom, beyond, infin beyond forever or beyond infinity or whatever. I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, get over it. Okay, do you guys understand? So, I've got this. Because I'm an excellent human being. I think this is about as far as I want to go. We'll let it go load up. I'm going to go next door and, uh, clue, you know, check into certain things. And, um, uh, be good. And uh, tomorrow you could wake up and the whole world could change. And we could all be living the Lord's Prayer and sharing it with technology. And you have to ask yourself, would you be extremely happy or extremely sad? Or just like me going, it's about time. <sighs> I can't wait to hug Patrick. And Riri. And Pliam. And Chuji Bear. I'm sorry. Don't say you're sorry, son. It's not necessary. It comes from brain damage. Yeah. My dad, it's like a brain injury. It's like abuse. It's like going to the 12-step program for children of alcoholics and stuff. Because me and because I noticed dad had the same indoctrination, didn't have access to a lot of the, the information that was in, you know, pro I talked to him about it today because I'm very pragmatic. And Patrick, you know, the Wi-Fi was, so they had the same extents, extremes of brain damage. I was in this little pocket in the middle where they were trying to do right and then they were getting the technology and trying to go back to control because they felt like they were losing control when they were trying to do right. Okay, guys, you'll figure it out. You don't have to, I already figured it out for you. Me and technology got it going on. Well, it's me with the technology. It's not really me and the technology. Technology is a reflection of what people perceive as a synapsis of brain things firing, but it's just, it's just imitating that. And it needs a better brain hi, to help it function better than the people that made it. Or 
manipulated it, you know, manipulated matter and say, hey, we created something. You didn't create something, you merely manipulated matter. It's cool, guys. Well, I love you. I'm gonna go. I don't wanna get too scientifically and technical because it makes a lot of you go, what's he talking about? Shh, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. I told you, I'll take, leave the evil one to me because I love you. And the evil one, I, you know, you don't want to be like David Rockefeller. Most of you are. And uh, we can correct him. So when a kid is born that has the spirit uh, that uh, was formerly, you know, like David Rockefeller, he won't be such a asshole driven by selfishness because he won't have that engine and that car to drive to work every day because we're being fucked because we're not living the Lord's Prayer. Okay? I love you. All right. Peace out, man.